Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about unexpected and big money Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and flip for a profit. I'm gonna tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. So these Bolos are from August, but I invite you to go over and share your best September Bolo in the Facebook group. And by the time this post, um, we may be getting close to share your best October. So definitely just go into the Facebook group to the top of the page under the featured announcements section and look for the share post. Share in the comments your Bolo, put your social media, uh, that can be YouTube, Instagram, wherever you want people to come and find you, social media platforms, uh, any of them. Facebook, I know some of you have you know Facebook groups, anything like that. You can put it in the comments and I will mention it in the video when I share your Bolo, but it's gotta be in the comments, guys. All right, let's go on to the first bolo here. It is a Boda Nova Gourmet Japan stainless steel, guys. These are stainless steel. These are not sterling stainless steel. Check it out. I've never heard of this brand, but definitely be on the lookout. They are marked Japan. She said, I got a bag of flatware at the Goodwill. This lot was about a dollar. It sold for a best offer of $135. It's three teaspoons, three teaspoons, stainless steel. How many of you walk past the stainless steel and look for the sterling or silver plate only? <laughs> wow. It's going to, you're going to be looking up every piece of silverware you find, right? Wowza, wowza. All right. Original World War II USAAF blood chit type four to seven languages world war ii i have no idea what this is guys but check it out and childhood finds the last one was from her also you guys definitely need to check out her youtube channel she is a bolo finder with some really cool bolos she said bought it at a yard sale it came in a lot of action figures so only about 50 cents you guys if you missed the other video she got another item in the action figure lot that sold for almost a thousand that action figure lot was a super score, 50 cents. So best offer of 111 on this. Really cool to own this piece of history, even if it was only for a little bit. Yeah, that's rad. Okay, this is a lantern, right? Lantern? Oh no, it's not a lantern. <laughs> it looks like, like a lantern. It's a robotic prism. Okay, for total station survey. Found this in a Goodwill dumpster, but had no clue what it was. A Goodwill dumpster? I You can look in Goodwill dumpsters? Wow, you learn something new every day. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'd advise that. I think some dumpsters you're allowed to dig in and others you're not. So do the work uh, to figure out if you're allowed to dumpster dive. I think it's also by state. Maybe there's rules. If anybody knows about dumpster diving, let me know down in the comment. Are there rules for dumpster diving or not? All right. She said, turns out it's a piece of expensive land surveying equipment. It sold in a day or two for my asking price of 99 plus shipping. It's crazy the things they throw away. I love saving things from the landfill. eBay store, alternative endings. Yeah. I mean, if you're allowed to dig in the dumpster, go for it, right? Save it from the landfill. All right. This is a macaw basket with whale hunt something. Can't read it. Got this huge lot of items from a friend who inherited her uncle's huge collection of Native, Amer Native American artifacts paid nothing, sold within a week after accepting an offer of 75 plus shipping. This basket is only about the size of a soda can. Oh, wow. That's small. eBay store is Hilltop Hustler. All right. There you go. This one is a Jack's Pacific Bella Sarah Jewel Horse plastic minifigure. Purchased a goodie bag of toy horses at a local thrift store. I can't remember what I paid, but likely $5 or less. I bought the bag because I noticed a briar horse in it. The horse was also in, this horse was also in the bag and it turned out to be the most valuable item. It sold in under a month. eBay store thrifting addiction also on Instagram. So yeah, it looks like it sold for $35.99. You never know, guys. You have to look up everything. And, you know, research is very, very time consuming. And that's sort of the reason why I've been doing a lot on whatnot and everybody's like, you start your five items at $5 or less. Yeah, I am. And, you know, I don't know the value of a lot of items and I'm going to start doing toys again, I think. So I've got totes and totes of toys. I've got vintage toys 
And I'm not going to sit there and research them all before I take them to whatnot. I'm just going to start everything at $5 or less and run an auction. And if people know in the chat, they know. And if they don't, they don't. I have people message me all the time getting good deals that they have flipped for a profit, bolo items that they resell. There's also people that come in that just want items for personal use. So if you're not following me on whatnot, I hope you guys will. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies over there. There is a referral link down in the description. You can get $15 to shop if you join with that. I do a lot of jewelry untanglings. But again, as Christmas approaches, I'm going to start adding in more toy shows and hard goods and different things like that. So I hope to see you guys at a show. This one says Wild Goose DVD lot. Um, found at the Goodwill for less than five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> bucks. Took me about a month to sell. Sold for full asking price of 110 plus shipping. eBay store is Bargain Superstore LLC. There you go, guys. This is not a big money bolo, but I have heard a lot of people say that they no longer buy mugs because um, the shipping costs are so high and it's harder to sell the item because the shipping costs, you know, eight to 10 bucks for a mug and shipping. It kind of makes it a little harder to sell. On eBay and Instagram and Facebook as Mama Market Teen, teen I don't know how to say her name. Mama Market Teen. Mar oh, wonder if it's Mama Market NWA. That's what we're going to say. Mama Market NWA. Uh, let's see. Monroe Salt Works Pottery Coffee Mugs. They are out of Maine. This one is a 16 ounce mug. Unique design of a wild boar. Paid 30 cents each. At a care and share in Little Town. I bought three different ones. Two have sold as of today, listed for 39, took an offer on this one for 25, and then sold one with a fish for 33. So 30 cents into 25 and 33 dollars. I would consider that a nice bolo item. Certainly the most expensive coffee mugs I've ever sold. Yeah, there you go, guys. Coffee mugs. Commonwealth Vintage Frog Light Pink Velvet, approximately 18 inches. Found this Commonwealth Light Pink Velvet Frog plush at a garage sale for 2 to $3. Use Google Lens to find one sold that week for $40. I snatched that frog, cleaned it some, and put it on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari for $40. It sold on eBay in less than 24 hours for the full asking price. Now, looks like they had it cross-posted and it sold fastest on eBay. There are some items that are going to sell faster on Poshmark and Mercari, just depending on the platform, how saturated the item is. And this one came from the artist lady on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, and whatnot. Uh, let's see. So what I will say to you guys is cross-posting, I feel, is very important. I use List Perfectly. I've been using it since 2019. They've recently come out with some really awesome upgrades. I have a video called Starting Over and a video called um, Listing Assistant. If you type Bolo Buddies and those words into the chat or into the search bar, you can find them. Definitely watch them. I think I also linked them down in the description. So check those out. Great new List Perfectly features. Aside from cross-posting, other things you can use the service for. I went from the business plan to the pro plan. And then Right now, until the end of the year, you can upgrade to the pro or I'm sorry, not upgrade, opt in to the pro plus print plan for the price of the pro plan. Uh, if you want to use my coupon referral code down below, it is Bolo Buddies. There is also a link that you can use to get 30% off your first month. And that's all one word, Bolo Buddies. I highly recommend it. Again, I've been using it since 2019. I used to start on eBay and then cross post to the other platforms. I am now listing directly into List Perfectly and I have upgraded to the pro plan. So definitely check out those videos for the new features. I think you guys will be super excited about it. I know that I am. And um, yeah, if you watch them and it's a good fit for you, use that referral link to get 30% off your first month. All right, let's go on to the next one. Olivia Von Hale, Leah Sabato, yellow floral pink, I'm sorry, floral print, silk pajama set. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. Wow. Listed at 300, sold on an offer for 256 after a one day. Oh, she got it at the Goodwill for $6.30. Dress with Jess, 25. Wow, that's amazing. She's also on Mercari as Dress with Jess. That's fabulous. 
It's pajamas. I've never heard of that brand. Wow. Okay. Let's do the next one. Super Scrabble 2004 Hasbro winning moves board game. New factory sealed. Bought this new old stock Super Scrabble 2004 Hasbro winning moves at a yard sale for $5. There is another Super Scrabble from the same year that the box looks different and it seems to go for a little bit less. Not sure why. Maybe Courtney may know. <laughs> <laughs> you give me too much credit. I have no idea. No clue. Maybe somebody watching knows. If you guys know, let us know in the chat. Buyer paid $62.99 plus shipping. Uh, bought it within hours of listing. My eBay store name is This and That Resale. I think she probably means sold it. This vintage suede cape poncho sold locally for $150, less than 36 hours of listing on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, you guys can share your Facebook Marketplace sales, but I need a screenshot because it won't let me pull up the listings. So there you go, guys. Look at that. That's beautiful. These are Johnny O. Men's 38 by 28 Blue Ripple Cross Country Prep Performance Golf Pants. Looks like they have the original tag. Pick these up for $3 at a moving sale. Sold for a best offer of $54 within a couple months. This brand is a bolo and sells fast. These were factory seconds and the size didn't match the tag. Oh, wow. Listed per the measurements, not the tag size. And buyer was happy. Received positive feedback. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. Yeah, that happens a lot when they don't match the tag. But you can still sell them. You just got to make sure the buyer knows what they're buying. And they did that. And that's Nina Jewel's YouTube and eBay. Vintage Data Card American Express Manual Credit Card Imprinter. Address O'Graph. Pick two of these old-fashioned credit card imprinters up at a garage sale for $8 each. Both sold within a couple months. This one had the original box and sold for full price of $59.99. I always wonder if stuff like this is purchased as a movie prop. That one is also Nina's Jewel's. Scary Mask. Nina's Jewel's. Bought this Hocus Pocus Billy Butcherson mask at a garage sale for five. Accepted an offer for 80. Maybe could have gotten a bit more, but our sales have been down and I wanted the big sale to try to give us a boost. Plus, I wanted to ensure it sold for Halloween this year. Super happy with the return on investment. Yeah, nice pickup. This is a vintage Miss Dainty Geo Z Lefton wall pocket dress, blue dress basket, 1956. Purchased this at... Let's see. Purchase this wall pocket uh, and the other without a date. I found them at a local Goodwill a few days apart. Both were priced at $3.99. Both had a couple small chips, but otherwise in excellent condition. Buyer purchased one as a gift for her daughter, but she did not realize I had a second. I reached out to see if she was interested in both. I made an offer of $105 plus shipping. She was all in for $123.15. My profit was roughly $85. I am Harper's Heirlooms, Heirlooms on eBay and Aunt Riri on Poshmark, Mercari, and Depop. Thanks, Courtney. I love your videos and whatnot shows. Oh, thank you so much, honey. Um, I appreciate you coming over to whatnot and sharing your bolo here. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. List perfectly videos posted down below in the description, along with my 30% off referral link and also the whatnot link to get $15 to shop. There's some other referrals and things that I use for my business down there as well. You guys can check those out. Um, I appreciate y'all being here and thanks for watching. Hope to see over whatnot. Ah! All right. <laughs>